Hey guys, I'm going to be growing these cherry tomatoes, so stay updated. So, what I'm going to do with these tomatoes is I'm going to take this spoon and kind of like cut them in half a little bit. Not a little bit, cut them in half all the way so that um, it opens up. Okay, like that. Kind of like that. And then you scoop out the inside of it and get make sure to get the seeds on it okay now what you want to do is wash the seeds and get all of this gunk off but I'm too lazy to do that and so I am just going to bury these as it is and if you want to do that go ahead but I don't need these tomatoes and if I get these tomatoes to ripen up, that's just more tomato plants that I can have. And this year, all I'm basically growing is um, peppers. That's it. That's like my main crop that I want to grow. So there's a good spoonful of it. And took this cup with dirt. It's got this set up how I showed you how to do in the pepper video. And so you put it in there, and then what you do with these is you take this, and what I like to do is I like to get a paper towel. We'll just use we'll just use this one, I guess, and fold it. There's already seeds on this side, so you fold it in half, and then you fold it in half again. And if that's still too big, you fold that in half doesn't have to be perfect halves and then fold it in half again I'll make sure that to get that seed over here onto this side okay so then once you get those on there make sure to spread them out and then what I do is I set the paper towel right on top of the dirt like that so that the seeds don't fall through because they can easily grow through um, they can easily grow through the dirt so let me go get some more dirt. Right, so I got more dirt. What you want to do is once they're laying on top like that, just get some more dirt. Sprinkle about, oh, half an inch on top. You probably don't need that much. Oh, that's too much. But yeah, we'll break that up. And then we'll pat it down. And so, I have some leftover water from watering my plants. I used some of this miracle Grow all-purpose um, plant food. It's a 12-4-8 ratio. I couldn't find a 10-10-10, so I just settled for that. So, you got to make sure to water the tomatoes. And get a complete coverage on it. And then, since that's not working very well, no, oh, there we go. It's draining through. Okay. So then, what you want to do is you want to keep it warm so that the tomatoes can sprout. Tomatoes, in my experience, only take about um, it. The tomatoes I planted took one day to sprout. Like literally, one day went by, and then the next morning I came to check on them. And they were already sprouted. I'm like, oh my god, pepper! My peppers took three weeks to sprout, and these tomatoes just took one day. So yeah, that's basically it. Here's what I did to this tomato compared to this tomato I didn't even touch. I'm just gonna eat this one. They're pretty good. And so I'm gonna put this by my beefsteak tomato and my best boy tomato and. We'll see which ones I like best at the end of the year. If I like beefsteak, cherry, or best boy. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.